Well, not going too far from the topic of Fedora badges, we have our next two sessions are going to be contributor stories, which is part of the Fedora Appreciation Week event that we're running this week. So as part of the 20th anniversary, we've asked a few folks to come up and share their Fedora story or their Fedora journey in the community. Um, so it's just a personal overview when leave it to them to share their stories up first for the we have three of them scheduled in for today this first one is from uh who just came up in the last presentation chris adoko who is one of the outreach interns who worked on the fedora badges project uh this past uh earlier this year over the summer so i see he was in the moderation queue chris i have i think you should be able to share your audio video now mm -hmm. Hello, can you, you can hear me? Can hear and see you perfectly. Okay, thank you very much. So let me start by introducing myself. My name is Chris and I'm from Nigeria. Um, I'm always happy to tell stories because it's always a way we can always connect and entertain ourselves. So this is also my first hopping talk session. So let's get into it. So firstly, if I'll start with my journey, my journey started with my participation in Outreachy. So I was a participant of Outreachy May 2023 cohort. That is where I started my Fedora journey. I interned under the Fedora Badges Design Team with the mentorship of Maria, Marie Nodin and Samira Goel. So I've always been having the responsibilities of transferring ads to the new template and improving ads in any way we can. This took us several months and weeks of box, but it was very, very amazing at the end of it. So during my time in Fedora, one thing I noticed more, apart from my participation in badges, where there was the friendship and the, the communication and the way people respond to themselves in the Fedora community, it was always something that was very intriguing for me noticing how friendly people were with themselves, how they interact with each other, people from different walks of life, working as if they have known each other since birth. It was always something that was very fascinating to me. And it's something that will always keep me around because it's, just, it's a very good experience. So my favorite memory of being in Fedora, I think it was during the Flock event. Although I didn't make it to Flock, I was supposed to be a sponsored traveler to Flock. But I attended virtually anyways. So I love the whole part of it. The most interesting part of it was the build up to the event. So I noticed how people were trying to get into get to flock. So somebody says, I don't come with a an adapter that is not for the UK. That is that's not that doesn't fit the UK type of adapter. This works for Ireland also. Somebody comes in and say, Oh, I'm at the airport, I'm testing the airport food. I'm bringing in for things for the game nights all those uh, build up to the event was more i think was very interesting for me even apart from the event but the, i attended the event virtually and was also very interesting for me so having my time in outreach i've been mentored by a lot of a few let me not say a lot i've mentored by a few and my favorite mentor has to be Marie Nodin. She has always been with me from the start of my journey in Fedora, right from my participation in Altitude to now. I've been in Fedora just for a few months and I plan to, plan to stay as long as I can. She always has a very unique way of responding to me and my teammate Roland. It was, I think, we spent a lot of time mostly on our calls and communication within our channel, our, our means of communication. So she responds in a very, it's not a criticizing manner, but if she wants to give you a feedback, you you love the feedback more than whatever you have done. So like if you made a mistake, the way she gives you a feedback is more important to you than even the art you made. I've always liked the way she interacts with people. And apart from learning and going in badge design, there are several things I also take from her. I also take her, I try to take her way of speech and the way of response she makes. 
it has already been something fascinating for me. So having a, having all the time here, I've been helped by a lot of people, I would say, because I'm breaking it into like sections of how I've been. I think the person that has helped me the most, I have to say, is Justin. We all know him as the community architect. He wasn't a direct mentor to me, but in several, like, he just even helped me at the moment right now. So it was always somebody I could always reach out if I check my element chat. I think he's the person I've had the most conversation with. Message him even in the night. Sometimes when I even message him, I'm, I'm always asking, I'm sure I'm not disturbing you because it's so difficult to keep track to people when so many people are talking to you at the same time. He has always been a very great and amazing guy. And I always appreciate him for a very long time. And as long as I'm in, I'm in federal and even outside it. So my first time of hearing from Fedora, I I always heard about it once in a while. Not I didn't pay so much attention or understand it most. I think I was opportune to really be part of it after my internship or during the process of landing my internship in the federal community. I think that's the being in it now. I I don't think I would have. I don't think there would have been a better time than now. So the people in it, the friendships, the communications, the network you get, and the love and help you get from everybody is more is more important to me and as a community member than just being around and just doing some work. So it's not my first open source project I've heard of, but this is the one I feel most attached to the most. And I always be grateful and happy to be a contributor here at Fedora. I'm still contributing to the budget design team. So I still respond to tickets from time to time. And I'm hoping to do that for a very long time. Another thing I've also liked about the Fedora community is always a place for learning. You can always learn several other things. So apart from bad design, you meet people of different walks of life. You can There's always a space for you in anything you want to do. So I always, if anybody is here, I always encourage you to join the Fedora team, be part of something, take part in something. There's always something for you to do. And hopefully we will have more participants from my zone. I'm from Nigeria, so I'm hoping to get more participants in from Fedora for design and several aspects of, of work. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions for me? Hello. Hey, Chris. Uh, sorry, uh, was I able to go the process? I thought that was a great one, you know, and, and uh, Christian was talking about uh, just like Fedora is a learning place is what I was commenting. I thought that was a really great thing. It's also for me, uh, having Fedora has always been a place where I've been able to learn and uh, skills too. But, um, you know, one question I had was for you, if, if there's, or actually, let me look in the Q and A tab here. I see, uh, we'll start, we'll start with the Q and A tab first. So I have one here from Marie Norton about what was the biggest design skill you learned during your internship? Okay, so I will say there's no one, but I will pick two. So the biggest design skill I learned was how to interact with colors. The, there's a way you use colors that make them one shouty compared to the other. There's a visual, there's a way you have a visual hierarchy with colors. And there was also a time I spent, I think, a day or two with Marie on perspectives and how art is viewed. So art being on the same Scale, like how close they are to each other and not be far, being far apart and how they interact with their background. I think I've, I think those are the most important part of it to me, being on, at being on the same level and the way I interact with colors. Yeah. So some colors are more relaxed on the eyes, some colors are more shouty, some colors have more vibrations with each other. I think those, is some, those are things that have been very helpful to me throughout my whole design time. Another question from Marie on what was your favorite badge design that you created and why was it your favorite? My, I think my favorite badge is the common box contributor badge. If she's seen this, she will 
be laughing at it now because I've it showed my stay of the internship. I've always been trying to make several iterations of the badge. It was a proper revamp. If I think it's even in my next presentation for tomorrow, it's has a it has a very large increase in let's say quality of the design and the badge looks very happy there. I'd like you all to see it tomorrow. I think it's my best batch, common most controversial batch. Then I also made a batch for the release party. I think a lot of people must have claimed that that now. It's also a very good badge of mine. If you have not claimed yours, I think you should claim it now. You will like it. Yeah, you were one of our, our you are our lead person on the batch for this, for this event too. And if you didn't catch that tomorrow, uh, Chris is also going to be presenting together with his uh, co-intern Roland on the Fedora badges design from this summer. So you'll get a more deeper dive on that tomorrow at 1400 UTC or 9 a.m. U.S. Eastern. Uh, so Chris, I, I had a question for you. Um, you know, during your, your internship experience, was there, did you have like a, a very memorable moment or some, some like part that stood out to you in some way during that? Uh, that experience during the summer? Mm, I think during my internship, um, almost every part of it was a, was a was a very good part. To pick a singular part and say this was better than the other, a singular time, say this was better than the other was will be won't be a really good thing to say. But I think the most enjoyable part of it was during our session. So we there we have call sections like call checking sessions. We discuss the progress so far, the budgets we have made, and how we need to improve on them. So getting direct feedback instead of through a text or something, that was a very good experience for me. And that is where I started my started having to even speak on calls like this and speak in public. It has improved me severely in my communication and several aspects of life. I also okay, I also try to imitate Marisa all the time when I hear her speak. She has a very nice way of speaking. If there was an award for the best mentor, she always have my votes. Like an award party, I think we should do something like that too. I can also confirm that Marie is an excellent, excellent mentor. So she is one of one of the great folks in the community who's got a good yeah. skill for that. I'm well, Chris. I'm glad. Thanks for coming up and sharing your contributor story with us today. Uh, and we're looking forward to catching your session tomorrow at uh, 1400 UTC on all the deep dive on the badges design work from this past summer. Thank you. Bye. Everyone.